Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. Happy President's Day. It is Monday, February 19th, 2024. Here's what's happening today in America. Trump loses fallen officers, mockery of the church, and spankings in school. It's all coming up. Then Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. But first, one of Trump's lawsuits he lost in a ruling on Friday, 92-page order. Trump is ordered to pay $450 million, including interest, and cannot operate a business in New York for two years. The claim was that Trump exaggerated the value of his properties in order to get better bank loans. It's worth noting that not a single bank complained. Not a single bank sued Donald Trump, and he paid back every loan in its entirety, as agreed upon. But the Attorney General of New York ran on getting Trump, and she did. $450 million worth. Burnsville, Minnesota, 15 miles outside Minneapolis. Two police officers and a firefighter were shot and killed. They were all responding to a call of a family in danger. 1.50 in the morning, a man was reported to be armed and barricaded with his family inside. There was a standoff and shots were fired at 8 a.m. There were seven children in that home between the ages of 2 and 15. Absolute selfless heroes responding to a dangerous call. Another officer was shot, but his going to survive. The murderer was killed. The first responders were 27, 27, and 40. 18 police officers so far have been killed in line of duty this year, four of them by gunfire. St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City claims that they were duped. They were told that someone would like to have a funeral in the cathedral. And they said, okay, no problem. They didn't know that this person was a trans activist. People were swearing at the pulpit They referred to this trans person as a saint, changed hymns to honor this advocate. The person who organized the funeral admits that they did not tell the church who the deceased person was. There were a thousand people at the service and many were dressed like it was a drag show. The church released a statement calling this scandalous behavior. They said, we had no idea our welcome and prayer would be degraded in such a sacrilegious and deceptive way. The organizer said, wait, we thought you were a welcoming place for all. A church-run school in Orlando got in trouble because the principal spanked more than a dozen fourth graders for acting out. And it turns out Florida allows corporal punishment in school. It turns out 18 states allow it. A Florida state rep said, I had the same reaction a lot of people had, which is that I assumed it already had been banned. Corporal punishment is defined as the moderate use of physical force as may be necessary to maintain discipline or enforce school rule. I'm Mike Slater, the great Bill O'Reilly with your message of the day. Next. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low cost month to month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out of pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584 for a free quote. This protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistant, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800 925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Monday, get ready for the most bitter political campaign ever. We got Biden versus Trump, at least for the moment. As you know, I have predicted that Joe Biden will not be on the ticket come November, but I could be wrong. However, he's shaky. Everybody knows it. On the other side, the Republican side, Donald Trump looks to be a lock for the nomination, but he has to go through all of this legal stuff against him. But let's assume it is Biden versus Trump. So the most bitter campaign in the past was Andrew Jackson against John Quincy Adams. I'm sure you all know about that from your high school history courses. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. Nobody knows about that, but Jackson and John Quincy hated each other's 
guts. Adams thought Jackson was a vulgarian. Jackson had no use for the patrician John Quincy. Now, the upcoming election is going to pit neighbor against neighbor, family member against family member. That's how bitter it will be. Don't get caught up in that. Somebody asks your opinion, you give it to them without emotion. If they differ, that's what America is all about. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Uh, John, concierge member. Thank you, John. Bill, I agree the comments never in history of America has half our population been so deliberately misled by the evil mafia of communist thugs. So far, the deep state wretched mafia has managed to fool half the people all the time. It's because they want to be fooled. You're giving them way too much power on, on the progressive left. Most Americans don't care. They're apathetic. Or they are ideologically poisoned themselves. They don't care what the truth is. They believe what they want to believe. That's what's going on. Carla Black, Nashua, New Hampshire. Those are possible that Robert Hur was directed not to charge Joe Biden for mishandling classified documents and therefore comply, but brought up his dimension. Uh, conspiracy, Carla? Who would direct him? Who would be in charge of that conspiracy? And you know the conspiracy come out. So, no. Conspiracies every day, every way on the Internet. John. Joe Biden's at the top of the list of those fleeing reality. The woman needs to have her mental capacity examined. She ranks right up there with Hillary Clinton as a big enabler. Uh, I disagree. Dr. Jill is very clear. She loves power. Armando, from your study of history, would you agree that eventually we will learn about what Joe Biden really did with Hunter? Yes. I do believe it'll come out. Armando. John, Bill really enjoyed the interview with Geraldo. You and he do an interview the way it should be done. Well, I thought it was a good interview, too, even though desperately wrong. Um, Christopher Banton, Chicago. Bill, I saw your report on Child USA. I immediately sign a petition. You're a patriot. We got to protect these kids. There is a petition on BillOReilly.com. We want you to sign it. We need a new law. These internet companies, they can't be putting this child porn up there. They can't. We got to punish them. Please. Very important. Very, very important. In a moment, something you might not know. Do you want more online safety and privacy? I know I do. That's why I started using NordVPN. It guards me against various internet threats. Digital trackers, malicious websites, and malware-infected downloads? Back off. I choose to browse with more confidence. I choose NordVPN. To avoid digital threats, turn on NordVPN. It's trusted by millions of users. Just visit NordVPN.com. One of the fastest VPNs on Earth will block web trackers, malicious websites, and malware-ridden downloads. It will also encrypt your internet traffic while maintaining a smooth connection. So improve your digital privacy and protection against hackers with one simple click. Get the special deal at NordVPN.com and enjoy safer internet daily. NordVPN. Cybersecurity built for every day. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 82 years ago today, President Franklin Roosevelt signed Executive Order number 9066. Without due process, thousands of Japanese Americans were taken from their homes and held in military camps because of their heritage. Here is the story. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, major newspapers published articles promoting the incarceration of Asians in the USA. A reporter for the Los Angeles Times wrote, quote, Our Japanese Americans are citizens by accident of birth. But they are Japanese nevertheless. A viper is a viper wherever the egg is hatched. Unquote LA Times. FDR signed the order on February 19, 1942. People of Japanese ancestry were stripped of their possessions, 
placed in detention centers across the American West. In total, the federal government held 120,000 people against their will at 40 sites in 10 states. Economists believe $400 million of personal property was seized by Washington. Objectors around the country filed lawsuits. On December 18, 1944, the Supreme Court ruled that citizens of the USA, regardless of lineage, could not be detained without due process. The White House then issued Public Proclamation Number 21, rescinding the original order and allowing Japanese Americans to return home within 30 days. Ronald Reagan was the first president to authorize payments to the survivors of the internment camp people. Over 100,000 citizens qualified. $2 billion has been distributed since 1992. And here's something else you might not know. Today, there are fewer than 1,000 people of the Japanese camps. Many were born during the incarceration. The National Park Service manages the network of bases as, quote, a site of remembrance for one of the darkest chapters in American history. Back after this. We all hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's $5,000, $50,000, or $500,000, we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-575-1102. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at tra.com or call 800-575-1102. That's 800-575-1102. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly, no spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.